time the people still stayed away and they moved away because they didn't have no water and they didn't have no toilet up here that were inside oh, yeah, yeah. their houses to go into pieces. They didn't have any they didn't have nowhere to work. Oh. So what we were talking about is way back in nineteen oh situation and not being able to get the people together divided the boundaries of Cortina Rancheria which down here on my right side where the ravine is and the creek he put it inscribed on a rock and told some of the people that didn't want to follow his orders or his way of living live on this side and do as they want to and him and his group or family would live on the other side and as things worsened up here and they didn't have no water and no way to really survive as jobs became plentiful and they could go off the rancheria and work they went off to work and Amos still was here with his mother and father and his brothers he had three brothers three brothers Clifford, mm-hmm. Sweeney, right. and, right. Claire. and his mother was Molly Wright and his father was Pedro Wright and as time went on, Pedro was here until his death in 1940, I it about 46, 47, I think, somewhere around there. Yeah. And then Sweeney Wright uh, followed in that footstep, which it stayed until the time of his death, which I really mm-hmm. can't remember, it was in the 60s. And during this time, the tribe just a- abandoned and worked on and nearby, and Amos stayed here all by himself, as you can remember. But in 1930s, what was it that the Bureau built these 10 homes up here? Must have been 30, 31, 32, 32, 34? 1921. They still yeah. didn't put any bathroom facilities, or they didn't, they didn't, never dug a well for these 10 homes. So as they got older, and they still couldn't survive up here by hauling their water, and they came in by horse and buggy at that time, mm-hmm. before the automobiles, they decided to leave. Still, people were very bitter about it, and the Indian people among themselves fought because it became a matter of survival, and petty jealousy a lot of times kept them from developing as it has with even Amos here, because uh, Amos lives up here all by himself, and he held the land. It, It might have been terminated. It came to the point that we were still in dispute from one family to the other, and nobody would take hold because they were afraid of their Indian ways and their Indian culture and their Indian beliefs, which nobody else can believe really what went on in this tribe. And maybe it still exists today, but we don't bring it out. It's, re- it's better not even spoken about it sometimes. And so as time went on, in 1968 and 69, I was approached to help be a spokesman or help Cortina develop by Mr. Harry Lorenzo, who was a spokesman for Cortina. And being that Amos was here alone, he thought somebody could help him. So at that time, they, I was a volunteer and accepted to organize a group, and we went into looking for, which the Bureau only had 49 descendants for us to look for. And it would have something like Charlie Wright, wife, and three kids, or one child, or Frank Wright, wife, and so many uh, three children or something. We didn't know the names or anything, but we started looking for the lineal descendants of those 49 people. We came up with a membership of 87. And still, uh, people, still the members were squabbling among themselves, thinking that it, they were supposed to get money and being that other people told them things and it was interpreted wrong, or they didn't believe in their beliefs. It became it, it's still a friction among our people that we still have this issue, maybe that's the reason some of them don't show up on different dedications because they feel like they're not a part of it, but they make their life the way they see it and the way they want it. Still, although I'm from the opposite side, I'm still trying to hold the tribe together of what little few people they are, and I worked with Amos, I talked to Clifford, and I worked with Amos as a one resident of Cortina Rancheria, 
until I got the 87 members and became a recognized, federally recognized tribe in 1972, I think it was. Then we went into our constitution and bylaws, which uh, gave us more power to be able to get fund federally funded grants, or we could subscribe for them if we were told it was a foundation and a football. I still worked with Amos and came up and tried to tell him and explain to him, and Amos needed water, he needed the house, people needed to come back with him, still they wouldn't go along with it because they felt like Amos worked here, he lived here, he should have been able to provide for himself. But he he still stayed here and maintained the land, the fences, he took care of everything, and uh, I just didn't feel that was right. Still, when we put in for a federal grant, we went through the bureau, we couldn't get anything because of the one residence, the rest of them were off, and I felt a little bitter against that, and I still feel that way because... How can we get our own people back on the land if you don't have water? Or how can a tribal representative work for the people when they're fighting each other and they say you're not doing anything, you're doing the best you can, but you don't have their support because there's a petty jealousy. Amos lives here, tries to work with me, and at times they come up and they even disturb him and get him upset. And we still are able to talk about it and get along. And uh, as far as Amos can remember, he said the Bureau won't give him any water because uh, they didn't have enough money to dig a well here, didn't they? And then they said they never had enough money to build you a home because uh, you were only one person at that time. So we kept going until we got to this point. And we submitted for the bicentennial funding and we were one of the, I don't know whether it was 14 exactly or 16, we were one of the ones that were funded through the bicentennial funding agency and it was for the community building for its use and, and then it was when it came out in the paper it said it was for a two-bedroom home and it was for tribal members that could live in it for short term or something it kind of misinterpreted there a little bit because we said as they come up to go to meetings and as they come up for different dedications or as they come up for tribal functions or visit with each other it was open to their use but not to really live in it constantly so they could all share in it and the home would be dedicated to Amos because I felt like he lived here, he sacrificed all his time, he took care of it, he got along with everybody he could, he listened to all the rights and wrongs, he made his own evaluation, still he was able to work with me even though I was a younger person and extremely more harder for him to work with me was the factor that I was a woman that should have been a man that was the leader of this tribe. And, um, I really think it was hard for Amos to do. He might not tell me because I am, here, as they say, his niece, but really, Indian way, I was corrected. I was supposed to call him my big brother and I'm his sister. But due to the fact that my children, I call him uncle, and the word caught, everybody calls him Uncle Amos, so this is where we got it a little bit mixed up here. But still, we're working with this tribe because I feel like with water and a little time, the younger generation that's coming up, should be taught to get along with each other and develop and work and work in a different era and a different time of life rather than dispute with each other or fight or just over petty jealousy say uh, this is my half the land that's your half the land because that you feel they could work together and really develop something they could uh, make it a much more pleasant life the land is here for them to use I really feel and believe in my own way like Amos and I have talked a lot of times that you'll never be able to possess Mother Earth. I don't care how much you pay for her. I felt that, and I talked to him, that we feel that the land was put here for a use and a purpose. And still we buy and buy and buy and it costs you more money and you'll never own her. You'll never possess her in any way. It's put here for you to eat and live and share with, but it became that after a while with the outsiders coming in, money and taxes, and people telling you you should get a thousand dollars for this or you should get five hundred dollars for this the money factor really became something that overpowered us in our own beliefs and way of taking care of ourselves it seemed like the most important factor right now but amos can tell you himself i think he's lived up here a few times and um, he gets along with very little money i don't think he has the ulcers or the heartaches or the worries that we have about worried about paying taxes or house payments and he's been able to survive i think other people that would come in here could survive with water and develop this land is there anything else you would like 
famous kid. Okay, let's say famous tell us what he thinks the wall is. Like this unequal amount of money. Some of them are not on that kind of thing. Just tell us what it was like back in 1907 when I was. We needed to get off. I didn't know we were family. Your feelings about this recent ceremony, all the jokes. Do you know when your mom and dad lived here, everything? Do you enjoy it? like living here? Why is that right? Because it was your home. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to work. I didn't have to go out to work. I go to work. And after the people left and you stayed here, mm -hmm. it, you still lived and went to town when you sit. That's what they want to know. Mm -hmm. But you still need that water too to help you out. He's very quiet and reserved in his own way because he doesn't have very much to say. Yeah. He's getting hot. Yeah, he realizes he's getting hot, Amos. Yeah. Tell us your feelings about why you think the, uh, the, the, the Bureau has kind of neglected this area and you think they should have done something about it. Well, I think they should have done something about it. Well, I think they should have done something about it. Well, I think they should have done something about it. Well, I think they should have done something about it. Well, I think they should have done something about it. He really, he really never knew, you know, he just really don't understand just that part of it, you know. Like he asked me a lot of times, well, why do we fight? Why don't we all get together and do something? Because he just really don't understand the friction of it. He hears and he's seen a lot of things happen here, but he has never, you know, the, his thoughts are different and he speaks them more and it's himself and he speaks very little of it. Can you tell us why you chose to stay here alone all this time then? Uh, tell, us, tell us about that. This is mostly because, you know, his mother and father are buried here, and then he was born and raised here, and his brother is still here too. You know, and the family has been here, you might as well say that, to be reason that he never went anywhere else because of this huge just the type to stay around here. You've been here over 60 years, then. participate in it. We keep probably will have the key to it at all times and use even if he wants to on his own, you know. If he wants to sit there and watch the rain or something, he's come in and take care of it. And he seemed you seem to like the building all right. Um had no objection to it. I mean you didn't say you didn't like it or anything. Another building there. They said they, they expected you to move into that building. Are you going to move in and live in that building? Well, yeah, I don't know. I talk about it. I'm going to leave my house. He likes his house because he got with his mother and father. Yeah. So, uh, even once they get the rest of the, uh, the building finished, the inside, they probably uh, will just still stay in your cabin down there on the hill. Huh? Yeah, you know, I'm not sure what you're going to do. You know, They were both old, but they've been outside and inside at the time. You built that by yourself. What year you built that? Yeah. 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 back and forth. 
forth down to town, or how do you get back and forth and get your supplies up to here then? Probably why you're in such good shape. You look pretty good for 60, 61 years old you are now. 60. 60 years old. 60 years old, yeah. And your brother is what, 57, 58, 57? 57. 57. Mm -hmm. That says a lot for hard work and clean air then. Mm -hmm. He's a good example. You walk every day too, don't you? About mm -hmm. what? And I'd say he goes in the morning up the hill and back down. Well, he walks what about two and a half miles a day. By the time you go down, one to mile, two miles a day. One mile, two miles. Yeah, it feels good. Two miles. Yeah, it feels good. Three miles. Mm -hmm. And you you do a lot of hunting, do you? Uh huh. You just walk from here to go uh -huh. hunting. That's about all I can remember of anything, you know, that's ever happened. I can't remember even the roundhouse being up here. Amos probably remember that, and I don't even know if he was able to remember when it just all dissolved itself, really, or what happened. I didn't know. This might be a start for a new, uh, it might be a foothold and a start for a new generation to start developing and doing something, but it's sure a hard road to go. I mean, because only a family at a time has taken hold, and Amos works with anybody that comes in that he can, and it's, I know it's hard for him, because he doesn't know really who's right and who's wrong at times. He, he, he makes a good evaluation of trying to be this. I don't know whether you'd say democratic, but he uses his just plain common sense to get along with everybody. Amos, what do you think about what's going on here today? Everybody coming in here for this dedication of this new building then? And, and uh, have you had this many outsiders ever come here all at once in one day here for something like this? What do you think of everybody coming here today for this? It's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. okay with you, huh? the fun, yeah. <laughs> May I ask you, what do you think about hunt? Somebody's bringing a bucket. Oh, somebody brought a beer? Somebody brought a beer. Somebody's bringing a beer in right now. Uh, mm -hmm. I understand that later in the day they're going to uh, present him with something. Uh, again. Again. He knows about that already? Uh, He's going to go hunting with that new gun then, is he? Yes, so he'll use it. Because his eyes are getting bad. He doesn't have any glasses. And in the last year or so, huh, you said your eyes are getting bad. I get eyes. He's got a good eye. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll say he does have pretty good eyes. Well, the game seems to be plentiful. Just coming in after we the pavement down here, we saw three deer on the way in here. So, um, it appears to be able to put that rifle to good use anyway. He puts me to cooking a lot of times. He likes to eat. And his favorite is apple pie. Apple pie. He loves apple pie and he loves oranges and he likes, uh, cinnamon rolls in the morning and, and uh, but he, lo he loves pastry, really. I guess it's because he doesn't have it. You know, his biggest thing that he really gets uh, enjoyment out of chewing gum. Chewing gum. Cigarettes, I guess, is his favorite. Well. And he plays his guitar. Uh -uh. For his entertainment. And since he's had a transistor radio, he really enjoys the cowboy music. He typically goes for cowboy music. Anyone that can play a guitar really amuses him. He really enjoys watching.
watch him because I think really feel when he's by himself by watching mm -hmm. he learns a lot when he's by himself and he practices so he, he really gains a lot by someone playing for him he enjoys it Right now, Amos is walking up towards his old home, and beside the new one that he built right next to it, that he built with his own hands, along with some of the children, and he's going up there now to skin a deer that was just brought in. Later in the day, during some of the ceremonies, there goes Amos running now. As you can see, he's in pretty good shape for a man of 60 years old. Later in the day, they're going to present him with a brand new rifle so that he can go out, hunt for his own game right here on this very small reservation that there's a Typical red lake trip, uh, you know, I think. Good job. Good to see you. 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 Good to see Nice young buck. Yeah, those are nice small ones. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Good gun rest. Yeah. Okay, that's it, man, me, please. Yeah, I'm <laughs> Hey, did you get all the rabbit clean? Yeah, I do. Did you get them? 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 Did Get that all
Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Could have been better planned. <laughs> yeah, he's just a little light guy. Well, he's going to cook out of this thing. But good uh, underneath, though. Yeah. Oh, eat it now. Eat that liver and heart. <laughs> right? We haven't got time to be waiting for the food. Eat it now. Oh, no, he's going to fry up that liver. No, he's going to fry up that liver tonight, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Load it down with the bacon and onion. How come I got the honor of the cooking? You can't. You got the honor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that's a good one. No, they call that honor. That's honor. See? You got the honor. Oh, I'm telling you. 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 One <laughs> 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 That's a Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my you know, I don't know. I I don't know. I I don't I see you all have to No, that's not. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
No, what we usually do is shoot them in the ear drum. They come out the other ear. They can't see what they're doing. And then they come out the ear. Where did that come from? What did that come from? Where did that come from? Where did that come from?